Hey y'all, um, I wanted to make a video after doing that last part on false prophets, um, because there was a couple of things I've seen here in the last couple of days, and I want to talk about it. Um, last night I had a dream about, I did have a dream about a zombie, or like a, a, a person with a demonic face, and scrolling through my I've only watched like news like like Dabu today and I think I did watch Barry's second video um about the RFID scanner but I didn't watch his video on zombies um maybe it's a confirmation to his dream um I didn't watch it I just it reminded me that I did have a dream about zombies um, a zombie coming after me and I was rebuking it in Jesus name um, I said something like the Lord rebuke you so I'm going to be interested in watching his video um, what else I had a dream about my son oh excuse me seeing my brother in the dream his name is Chris seeing my brother and respecting him and knowing him and what happened was I had already and I didn't realize it until I was reading these scriptures for um the last false prophets video I had fallen asleep and I already in real life I fell asleep thinking man I don't we have baptism tomorrow, and I have to participate in, um, we're having our missionary anniversary in the afternoon. So I was thinking about <laughs> skipping um, service in the morning and just going to the program because we will be there all day, basically. Um, and I haven't really decided. So anyway, in the dream, I fell asleep, and I had slept um I had missed service because I slept all day and then I woke up in the middle of what time it would have been for the missionary service and it seemed like I got there I wasn't dressed you know I have to wear white and for, for the for morning and night it didn't seem like I was dressed or it seemed as if I knew that my son was there, so I went to observe. Um, like, he had made it to church, and I had uh, slept all day or something. Um, and it was, I knew the program was almost over, so it was like no need to get dressed. And my son was there, and it was like me observing him in the building. And it seemed like my brother, Chris... Um, who's overseas right now um, he's in the army and he had come and I saw him standing in the midst of the missionaries like they had all like service or something was about to end and they were praying and I saw my son see my brother and he just came kept saying yes sir um, yes sir and my brother said he respects me like he respects me and he knows me, okay? Like he knows me. So, you know, I pray for my son. I think I prayed for him yesterday. I'm pretty sure I did a specific thing, um, you know, because I feel as if uh, I don't have enough time in the day to sit down and you know, have not so much that I can't sit down, but to have him sit down and me teach him the way that I used to teach him, like on a really, really consistent, consistent basis and not just depending on um, the church. So anyway, my child was in the temple <laughs> or in church and I went looking for him. And when I read the scripture, it says from a child, Thou have known and by whom thou hast learned and by whom thou have learned from. Learn them 
from a child the holy scriptures they knew which are able to make you wise unto salvation and um that just made me believe that my son recognizes which i know i mean i brought him up in the faith but it just was like a confirmation that I don't really have to worry about him and that he respects and knows, not just respects, but knows um, Christ. Because my brother was like, he knows me, like he respects me. He call, he calls me sir. He has a like a reverence for him. Um, so anyway, going on, and I, I, you know, I just want to share that with y'all just because it was in the scriptures. It, it was it maybe more to it, but um, even though I didn't go to church, my son, knows Christ, okay, um, I saw a squiggly line, remember that dream you guys I had of the six seals, one, um, which I believe to be one of the first six seals, a tornado in the sky, and I knew it had formed, we were in this hut, and we were pr protected, my son, um, ironically enough, was in that dream, and I protected, I threw the mattress and the, the oak wood on top of us so that we would be protected. So symbolizing that probably we won't be here or we'll be protected um, or, you know, we'll be protected as the first seal breaks. But what I saw, I saw a squiggly line, just like as I saw the, the slither of the tornado, I saw in a video about nuclear war involving North Korea and that squiggly line just reminded me of that squiggly line um of the tornado forming in my dream and um and also I know this is weird um well let me before I get to that also Dabu talked about the green laser perhaps being an option this new laser weaponry, you guys remember I had that vision of that green dot on my finger. And um, I think that was, the story came out about the U.S. using a new weaponry. And then all this stuff about North Korea, the threats back and forth between Kim Jong and um, Donald Trump. Which I don't think they would, that nuclear weapons would be, you know. As far as us, we won't be just dropping nuclear weapons. Um, I think that would be a first means of defense, whatever new weapon laser technology that they have. So um, maybe that's confirming the vision. But um, in that dream, we were in huts, which I believe um, strongly it represents the Feast of Tabernacles, the ingathering, the Sukkot booths. Um, but I saw the story about on Secure Team, and it was about aliens. <laughs> Not aliens, but alien, they call them like alien ship hut thingies. And he said that they had enough room for a, like a kitchenette and a bedroom and a bathroom. And it reminded me of the dream because that's about how much space I said that we had enough room for. But, um... You know, no, we're not aliens. Our Bible says, and let me read what, what, what our Bible says. Our Bible says, but you are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth praises of him that, who have called you out of darkness into the marvelous light. And going down, it says, dear beloved, I beseech you as strangers. I think I've seen it written as aliens. And if and pilgrims or foreigners abstain from fleshly lusts which war against the soul, having your conversation honest among the Gentiles that whereas, or the pagans, I've seen it written, whereas they speak against you as evildoers, that your they may by your good works which shall behold glorify God in the day of visitation. So one, we're foreigners in a strange land. We're foreigners, we're strangers in, uh, in the world. We're, uh, we're in the world, but not of the world. We're pilgrims, we're, quote, aliens. Uh, but we will be going home because this is not our, our eternal home. Our eternal home is in an eternal kingdom with uh, 
and our, our eternal Father. So it just made me, it pointed me, all that pointed me to the fact that I know that we are going home. I'll leave the video, video for the secure team. He's into that kind of stuff because, you know, whatever. But I wanted you to see the pictures um, of these little, um, their homes, but they look like something from the Jetson area era and um temporary homes huts booths were our temporary housings and where the jews on their journey were supposed to tabernacle with god wherever god said set up tent set up shop um that's where they tabernacled with god during the feast um i believe on their journey to jerusalem so what else the sun in the sky i posted a, a a video of i posted a picture of like a sun coming from behind the revelation 12 sign and i talked about that vision that i had while i was making a video also yesterday i saw another sun source or light source and it reminded me of the vision um two suns if you will two suns light sources i didn't get it on video but nevertheless nonetheless nevertheless brandon actually made a video and i'm so glad because he captured these two sun sources okay uh just another reminder of nebaru system moving in just like that dream and he also did a video on the rfid the co-founder of the rfid please watch it is very informative and in the it talks about the process of the making and how this guy you know the 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 how god called this guy to be a watchman and how he was grieved in his spirit after realizing what he had co-founded in making the mark of the beast okay and i think that's it um i'll leave all videos below and um i will talk with you later i just want to share that stuff with y'all okay i know there's other stuff but i can't remember i have to write it down all right god bless y'all